said, hell, even a blind hog finds an acorn every once in a while. <laughs> hey! This is down. You want company, boy? Go away. Just go away. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, but I... Well... Well, you're sorry. Yeah, I heard you. But... I mean... Well, I... I this country... Is man unleashed? That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it's anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness, not just hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight. I guess I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Where you think? Down the mine until he gets sick, which won't be long, given how hard they work him. See. Foreman don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Maybe I could go. Well, maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe. Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. You shut up. Oh, oh, all right. oh. <laughs> Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? Or I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. Uh, can't even uh, fight your own battles, Downs? Uh, 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 let me go. Uh, you should have stayed out of this. Uh, 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 hands off me. Uh, uh, Who's son uh, then, huh? Uh, uh, Let the boy go. Let him go! Come on, me. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy! Let's get you out of here. But they're gonna kill me. Now I got no job, and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this. All of it. Try and talk to your mama and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. Good boy. I don't want to see you here again. Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama... Mama can't leave. It won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, son. Sorry about all of this. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fellow down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you see? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards uh, Willard's Rest. I'll see what I can do. What? What is going on? Yeah.
That's enough now, partner. Oh, no. You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off! Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. <sighs> Listen. Listen to me. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. <laughs> I know. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son. Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? You loved him. <laughs> you did everything for him. <laughs> Let's get you home. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Sorry, had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. Sorry won't bring Thomas back. I know. <laughs> so you're sick now, too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No. I ain't looking for that. Okay, then. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying, because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Help someone who can still be helped. Why help yourself? I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. You're right to dislike me. I ain't looking for that to change. Archie should be waiting for us just up ahead. someplace else start over here take this I don't need it no more I don't want your money yeah I know you don't want it I don't you sure as shit need it take it no I ain't looking for forgiveness it ain't about that but don't forgive me just take the money and get out of here please I know I ruined your life I suffer for it every day but don't let yourself get killed for, for pride I seen it kill too many folk don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. Brother Dorgans and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. Well, how is Brother Dorkins? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? Uh, never better. Are you sure? Uh, I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. 
I very much doubt that. Oh, 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 I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a, a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. <laughs> I'm an outlaw. <laughs> oh, what fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. To me, God is people and people are God, so we must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead and the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, as you wish. All right, you know what, sister? I've got some money on me right now. You can buy some food with this. Oh, you're so wonderful, Mr. Morgan. No, that ain't true. I meant wonderful, but so very frightening. Exactly. Consider your good deed done for the day. I won't subject you to any more benevolence. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. Slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Bribed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. Oh. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson, a bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Karen's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah! 
Ah, Mrs. Adler! It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullet. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? We can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope uh, and hope for the best. Ah! You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> OK, here goes nothing. Right, time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. One hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir. We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. All right, then. Let's break through these clouds. Oh, my God. Yes, heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. You won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this. With a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? Arthur and Arturo. How perfect is this? My mother was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off lightning. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? Uh, I didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, oh, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. 
See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny, Nano. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, nope, you know. No, not there. We look a little suspicious, wouldn't you say? Hmm, that could be him. Yep, that's him. What are you doing? They're shooting at us! I can see that! Ascent! Ascent! Oh, my lord! Oh, the wind speed is picking up! We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Oh, God, I'm shaking like a leaf! Clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good Lord! My heart is pounding! <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <gasps> Mrs. Adler? We're being chased. Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this.
Arthur? Hold on. You break your neck? I don't think so. Yeah, maybe. Oh, damn it, look. There's more of them on the other side. They must have followed us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. These goddamn old Driscolls! Stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> from a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a bunk, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. Easy, easy. Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape. 
Yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. That's too weak or too unlucky. Oh, oh, you came. You came. You finally came. I came. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on, let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her! They killed Miss Calhoun! All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or or bows. Well, you met them. They are animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters! If God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo. Why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on, let's go. Of course. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay, let's try and get you a train. The bow's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up, or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can, makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well. If he's there, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watched me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say. Our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. <sighs> you saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. <sighs> so much bloodshed. I, I, you'd think this could be a new beginning, but everyone left alive. They're even more angry. We're here. He, he'll be out at the front. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just, just to the first stop? Fine. Blow me down. You came! <laughs> you came! At last you came! Oh, Bo, my sweet, my best of men. <laughs> oh, I'm hardly a man at all. But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. <sighs> sir, how, do you do, sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. <clears throat> can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Of course. <sighs> oh. Hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly, but good to see you. Hey, cousin. No, hey. No, no you leave us alone. Penelope, get back. Oh. Excuse me, Alden. Get off me. Get on the train. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. You want to come back here without giving you a whipping? Is that all they taught you? We should have done this last time. Get on the train, Bo. Go to your woman. Four fists and maybe one brain between you. You're going to get hurt, cowboy. Get him, Scott.
That is quite a family you got there, son. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave, so what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity, and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bullied them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah, well... How delightful. Oh, my lord. What? Oh, I think it's my second cousin. What is with it with all these goddamn cousins? I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. I'll deal with this. Jewels? I knew you had some death. Oh. They're coming from over the hill. You must have...
Why have we stopped? It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives. They would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. I couldn't take it. Now, let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there. Mm -hmm. This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Sure, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> Wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! Oh. Miss Braithwaite is gonna hold on to this until they're out. Mm -hmm. On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah!